Hey guys, Rennie here with Off Grid Trek. I've had a lot of my customers ask and potential customers about um, comparing the Powerfilm 120 watt solar blanket, which is the bigger one on the right, to our 120 watt solar blanket. So I'm just gonna start off because it's been really windy here and we're trying to get this done before the wind kicks in. I'm gonna plug in ours. And one of the things I wanna point out real quick is how quickly it ramps up. So you can see we're using an EcoFlow generator and we've got a bit of a hazy day. It's not perfect sun and we are at 51 degrees north latitude here in Canada. But this is going to give you an example here with that bit of haze. So we are now at 42, 43 watts going in, 44. And then I'm going to compare this to the power film in a moment. Actually, we're still creeping up. We're at 46 watts to give an example. Let me now plug in the power film just to show the difference here. We are. So 46 watts is where we left off. So now the. Here's the power film we just plugged in. The thing I noticed with this, they use amorphous cells. It seems like they take a little bit longer to ramp up to get to their, their true full wattage for power compared to ours. And I believe that has to do with the amorphous cells they use compared to ours, which are sun power cells. Ours are rated at a true 23.5% efficiency rating as well too. And yeah, so we're at right now, we're at 30 watts. We were at 44 with ours. We're literally the same conditions, the same haze, and it's still slowly ramping up. But as you can see, it's taking a little bit longer to do that. Not, not an overly important factor, but it's something just to point out as well, too. So there we go. We're, we're pretty much topped up at 35, 36 watts here, whereas we were at 44 watts going in into the EcoFlow generator. So the other thing I was going to show you guys here before the wind kicks in again few different things. You can see the difference in the physical footprint. We are literally close to a quarter of the physical size. Um, the other thing is power film uses an amorphous type cell. So it's definitely more flexible than the cells that we use. Um, they offer on theirs. It is, they have one plug on the back. We have two, which I'm going to show you here in a moment. And then this is also, um, power film's not waterproof. So it is considered water resistant, but you would not leave this out in the rain. Uh, it would actually uh, not be good for the solar blanket. Whereas ours is waterproof. And if you want to take a look at it, ours, the way we've designed it, we actually have a, uh, a specific backing behind the sun power cells. And it's designed so that it actually will take quite a bit of abuse. We've actually driven over these and they still work. Whereas a traditional solar panel or any of the other solar blankets on the, on the market aren't going to do that. So just to show you the difference of what we have here. So we use an Anderson SB plug. Um, you can't reverse polarity on it. There's only one way in, one way out. Um, and then we use, uh, with our quick charge, we have two high-speed USB charging ports, USB type C, so you're future proof because all of the new devices that are coming out are starting to be USB C, like my new laptop I just got, MacBook Pros, what have you. Uh, but still having two USBs right on the back makes it very, very versatile being able to charge three devices while charging anything from a solar generator like you see here. Uh, um, and then we also have different packs as well for our charging 12, 24 volt lithium battery packs for vehicles and trailers. But either way, guys, I'm going to let you go before the wind kicks up here again. Uh, we have a beautiful day. The polar vortex is over, which is awesome. And definitely with our interesting times, we're just, we're unbelievably busy. If you guys are needing anything, please let us know right away. We do have current stock. We have packages even with the EcoFlow generators, with the Blue Eddy generators, with other brands as well, with our 120 watts, 200 and 215 watt solar blankets. But I just wanted to give an idea on the size. Oh, and lastly, price. That's the big difference. I love PowerFilm, excellent product. However, it's out of most people's price range. This is approximately $400 more than our product, what we offer. Okay, have a great day, guys. Bye then. That ability. So let's just go over. I've got an EcoFlow Delta over here. Just a guy, I'm going to plug in both. But if you pop over here, and again, we have a bit of a hazy day. It's not perfect sun. And where we are, so this is our 120 watt solar blanket plugged in. We've got 51 watts going in. Just so you guys know where we're at in Canada, 52, we just saw. We're 51 degrees north latitude. So it's not like the sun is directly above us. And we are almost 3 p.m. now as well. So we're almost out of the, for this time of year, near the end of February, having the best sunlight. So now let me plug in the power film and we're just going to do a comparison here. So I've unplugged ours. This is the power film cable. 
and let's do this before the wind picks up and the wind just blew it away okay so i'm just gonna put this back and we're gonna see the difference in readings between the two guys <laughs> okay well wind is not in our favor by any means but we're, we'll get this organized here. And unfortunately we don't have, our, the tent pegs we brought were too big for the holes. But just to give you a comparison, I'm just gonna wipe some of the snow off so we can get a true comparison. But both of them have a little bit of snow. You can't get away from it this time of year. So where are we at? So the difference, it will creep up a little bit we saw 51 watts with ours and again we've got a bit of a hazy day and the wind just took it away again let's just try this again here guys and we'll be quick this time before the wind picks up again so power film, excellent product, but I got to say that is kind of annoying how the wind picks it up like that. So there we go. We've got, so we have a total of 44 Watts going in. Whereas we had well, actually now we're down to 40. So that's your comparison right there. So the difference between theirs and ours, ours is a smaller footprint. Ours is also less money. 